cutting the central bar, you can set it to a certain angle. But that's not all. When you select the correct angle, you place a pin that fits very neatly. And this way, stability. And that makes setting up your chisel even more straightforward. It all comes down to consistency when sharpening your chisel we can use as a secondary bevel. So next time, when we have to resharpen our chisels, we set it at an offset position and instead of sharpening the whole So setting the correct angle simply means placing the chisel in the hunting guide and sliding it against the base stop block. So this is a very straightforward method to place your chisels at the correct angle. And it works perfectly, is repeatable and is very accurate. And we both agree that when we put should be straight and secure in the hunting guide. And by clamping the chisels or planar blade at the side, you will always have it straight. And it is impossible to open your chisels, the wheels are far apart from each other on the outside and making them very stable. But when you want to sharpen very wide chisels or a planar blade, the wheels will go outside of the sharpening stone. So in that case, we have to place the wheels on the inside. And the two wheels together still make it very stable, but as I said earlier, when the blade is wider, the stability is less critical because the combination was more straightforward than the Verita set. And that does not mean the Verita set is terrible, but the design of the Moho combination just looks more practical and straightforward. But also from a construction point of view, it is a little very solid and stable to work with.